Hey all, Taves here, back playing some more Planet Zoo. So this is episode 12. God, we've done we've done 12 episodes already. I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with that. Now this is part two of the Arctic Fox habitat that I created in the last episode. So you can kind of see that in the background there. Um and yeah, this was you'll have seen this from the thumbnail, but the whole idea of this being a two-part habitat was that this is kind of a little bit more of a themed thing than I've ever done before. It's supposed to be that this is an extended part of the habitat that's a, that's a sponsored area, so a little bit more expensive than you typically see, a little bit more themed than you typically see, and it's supposed to be reflective of the fact that these animals are both a kind of a tundra, uh, that they exist in both the tundra and the taiga, so they'll come in and out of the snowy regions. So this is obviously in the previous habitat I had, or the previous episode, sorry, I had the the kind of less snowy areas. There's a little bit of there's a little bit of a, a connection between these two, but this is supposed to be the tundra area of it. So you can see I've done some terrain work, bought the terrain up there. You can see there's a wall surrounding there, so this is all ending up being inside. Um, and then we kind of get into the theming of it being you know, that there's some water in here and stuff, and that that's actually all like a frozen riverbed it obviously all implied this is obviously all supposed to be fake uh but that's why i added the water fairly late in the day in the in the previous part so i added this little stream this sort of trickling stream and it's supposed to be implied that that trickling stream is then running into this building it comes out of the little pipes and is kind of frozen um it's just a little bit of a thing it doesn't i don't know if it's really that visible down at guest level but i thought it might be quite a fun little thing to see if i could kind of imply that so yeah as i said i bought all the terrain up um i've blended that in with the the snowy rocks i bought the terrain up because i want the arctic fox to do its little cool little snow diving mechanic um because that's a super cute animation and in fact the arctic foxes i think are already I think I loved the fennec foxes before, but I think the arctic foxes have got some of the most amazing animations that we get in the game. So yeah, all a little bit much this one, all a little bit kind of heavily themed. It's a little bit more theme parky than I've done before, um, but I felt, yeah, the, the kind of sponsored thing gave me license to do that. There isn't any, there's a bunch of footage that I lost. Actually, I think I lost about two or three hours worth of footage this week, which is really annoying. Um, but you'll see all of the details that I that I add in the real time tour. I basically added a bit more theme in and a few more like message boards and that sort of thing, education stuff. So yeah, just putting in basically it's almost like a little diorama, I guess. We're creating this little kind of snowy scene, trying to give it some texture and some rock, uh, and then down to this kind of implied sort of frozen riverbed thing. You can sort of see the you know the icicles hanging down. I'm doing this all at the moment without the roof on. Little tip for if you're doing interiors and something I don't actually do that often, but it's quite often handy to create an interior of a building without the roof on it, just because you get, you just get a little bit more freedom. The camera is not quite so weird. Um, it does some weird things when you've got the roof on there. because it gives me a bit of an opportunity to kind of see what it looks like. Um, but, but also don't forget that you're obviously going to end up with the light being entirely different. So um, this was a little thing I was trying. It sort of works. I was trying to put this. I wanted it to look. It's a pointless little detail. But I wanted to. You see you get that little drip. We'll see it. We'll see if we can see it again in the real time tour. But the little drip from the tap there just looks a little bit like the snow melt. Right. I left this bit of footage. And so this is this was my first attempt. Again, I sort of started doing this a little bit in the last episode. It's about my kind of iterative process. So you see I created this little round um I guess you'd call that like a little like a little dome, I guess. But so I did that and I built it all with that. And it's actually quite a pain. You'll see that I end up trying to basically adjust in all of this interior ceiling in order to accommodate around that little that little dome and I kind of liked the idea of it but then when I looked at it afterwards I was just like it doesn't feel very real it doesn't look great so I ended up actually taking this out and swapping it out for a much more much more sort of normal looking skylight and it's a really kind of irregular building which is not always that handy um, which is why I'm sort of sticking with these these flat roofs 
in my head I'm sort of implying that there's a bit of a slope to these roofs um, but yeah obviously there isn't really putting a little skylight in now you can sort of see this is separated into two sections you see there's the bit that's got the kind of icy or the the, the faux kind of icy floor there um, is actually kind of inside the, the viewing area and then this is kind of entrance way so just giving that a bit of light and yeah you can see that I basically finished the whole roof and it wasn't till afterwards I came back and just went I actually don't like it it looks all right but it looks a bit like it's it just felt a bit like it was floating and stuff so I'm um, putting some side access in now so this is all implied again um, I talked about this in the last episode but I'm trying to make a real conscious effort of implying if there are places where you know the keepers can't get um, physically from their first gate just to kind of imply that there's another way of them getting there so that's what this is it's like a little you know a little door that comes in through the side of the building um, and they obviously can kind of walk around the side um, and then get back to get back to that kind of little interior tundra thing because there's a little tunnel for the foxes to get through but obviously not something that the keepers could get through um, added a bit more detail into that building so i've used again used that brick set i'm sort of not showing you me doing that just because i've done that a bunch of times um and i've yeah again that's me really more just to kind of try and keep all the zoo feeling kind of theme together um, and then adding a bit more details this is actually slightly going back to the previous part um, adding some more details in this little kind of yard I felt like I think I said this I felt like this little yard was a bit a bit bare and a bit sparse I needed a little bit more love um, and then we've obviously got this kind of implied um, water flow the, you know the little the little um, the, I guess like the kind of little implied stream and stuff so this is supposed to be like a little pumping station behind the scenes so yeah nothing actually in here I didn't put anything inside this but just built this little this little kind of shed shack thing uh, and then you can see the pipe coming over the top and that's actually going to come down and into this so it's supposed to as I said it's supposed to look like it's kind of implying that there's a pumping station or something in there so yeah went back then and changed all the fence actually I thought the fence because I, I I had left that as a pretty temporary just one of the normal barriers so I bought continued the, the, the theming of bringing this barrier through uh, made my little custom barrier for this uh, which does really help just adds a bit more richness to it um, and then I'm shutting this whole area that's got the pumping station and stuff away from the foxes quite a big sort of I don't know what you'd call this like a, a yard um, so yeah I just wanted to kind of break it up and again I'd mentioned in the previous episode that this all just felt a bit too clean and stuff so I thought I'd continue what I'd been doing in uh, the loading bay and add in a few details. I put this, someone mentioned in the comments that there should be probably a um, some like a drain and stuff in the in the back here, which is always good to get comments. It's always good to get feedback. Stuff like that, if it's got a constructive criticism, is always really welcome. Um, and I actually did that, put that hose in there, or put that tap in there and then actually moved it a bit later. So we'll see that when we do the tour. Uh, doing a bit more of the path work now so just again just sort of blending this all in just felt a bit like it wasn't kind of done and it wasn't kind of done I still had a few more bits and pieces so just bringing a bit of a bit of foliage and stuff in so I'm going to leave you guys as ever just for the last few seconds here um, and then I'll join you again don't forget there's a whole bunch of stuff that's not in the speed build that you're going to see in the real time tour so I will see you in a moment Okay, welcome back. Thanks for hanging around. So, uh, we're back in the loading bay. Made a couple of little additions back here, just some little tiny details. I made this little um, hose holder thing that you're going to see in a few places. I made a couple of different versions of that. Uh, that will be in the collection on the workshop. Uh, link in the description as ever. We're going to head down through the backstage first, um, just so I can show you changes I made um, to what we had in part one first so I'll show you that uh, this path is kind of a little bit more developed now a little bit more established it still kind of goes down to just as you can see there's like a little queue node there that needs to be finished 
Um, so yeah, I did a bit more. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Sorry, we should be going that way. Um, and I, I, as yet, I've kind of still left this gap because I'm not quite sure what's happening here yet. Um, but yeah, so I did a bit more, as you saw in the speed build, changed all of the, the barrier. Uh, I changed the actual gate, so that's why they're doing that weird sort of limbo underneath thing. Um, yeah, one of one of those little hosey things. I think this looks a bit more developed now. Yeah, it definitely looks a bit more kind of legit. Uh, I think all the little, just the little like scuff details and the the gutter and the little thing to stop the the foxes from gnawing on the gutter and all that sort of stuff. Um, as I said in the speed build, unfortunately they don't. For some reason, the guest, the keepers now don't go up this ramp. But as you can see, the foxes go up down it quite happily. Oh, we've ended up on the roof there. Um, and then we've got the what well, showed you the little kind of water pump thing here um, implied water pump so that's the water coming over the top uh, and then I just did a couple of little bits and pieces again this is all going to be finished off when I do the next bit and then I did a little again another little kind of separation area for them uh, we're going to go up and through so this is the this is what we had in the previous part uh, part one and we're going to boop down through the glass drop down into this so yeah you as i said i lost a bunch of footage you see me building most of this but i lost a bunch of footage which was this kind of a lot of these little detail bits so as i said it was supposed to be that it's like sponsored this is supposed to be like and i'm i, I, said I might do more of this it might be a larger area um but yeah it's supposed to be tundra in association with the fisheries and, and oceans canada um, and I actually ended up, that kind of was inspired by finding these really cool infographics. Basically, this is about the recession of the, of the Arctic, um, you know, the Arctic ice and all that sort of thing and the effect that has on the wildlife. So it's not specific, it's not really Arctic specific, Arctic fox specific, but kind of works. Um, and then, yeah, this is supposed to be one of those kind of plastic you push your way through and then you're inside uh the as i said highly highly themed bit um and then yeah continuation of this uh educational stuff and then have we got any foxes in there let's see we'll hang out here for a minute so we can see from some foxes but yeah as i said so i ended up changing out i just felt like it didn't feel it didn't really feel right that rounded one it looked kind of cool but it didn't really feel right and as you can see they can come in and out of the the tunnel there um but yeah it just felt a bit more like it was felt a bit more real with the with the skylight like that um and i might do some stuff as i said i might continue this i might continue going that way but we shall have to see i've had some ideas on it uh can we see my little drip? You can't even see it. You can't even... Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be like a little bit of ice thawing. I don't know. Kind of thought it was a fun idea. So I don't see any foxes coming. They're obviously all just hanging out in the other bit. Let's, um, let's do a flyover. Maybe I'll cut in some cinematics. So, yeah. I did a bunch more detail. And I changed... Again, I changed some things that you saw in the in the speed build there that made this uh this skylight on a slope because obviously you'd want the rain to kind of run off it added a few bits and pieces from the workshop just some details um for the for the aircon and all that sort of stuff because there's a lot of coolers and stuff in there just make sure they can actually still get in there because you know sometimes planet zoo does planet zoo yeah, they can all still get in there. Okay, well, there's not... I mean, I guess there's not an enormous amount of stuff in there in terms of an incentive for them to go in, but um, I haven't yet seen them do their sort of s snow diving thing. Um, but they do play with the disco ball and stuff. So, yeah, that's going to be that one, guys. I'm a bit shorter this week. Um, as I said, it's part of the two-part thing. I'm not sure what's going to be next week, uh, but we're progressing on along down the hill we shall see it might be here it might be there who knows 
Thank you very much for watching. My name is Tobes. As ever, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Much helps me out. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.